Hi Leo, I'm going to do, um, I decided to do a, an advice reading. So it's going to be like advice messages, okay? So I felt like I needed to do this for each and individual sign. So I'm gonna be using the Work Your Light Oracle cards and the Oracle of the Mermaids, okay? Oh, my coffee. Over here, Spirit, what message do you have for Leos? For advice, please. What advice message do you have for Leo? Protection, Mintaka, Mintakin, or something like that. Star Mother, okie dokie. Okay, so you have Star Mother, mm -hmm. Protection, Mintakin. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> All right, so Star Mother, how can you mother yourself? Are you doing what you are supposed to do to take care of yourself? Like if you were your own mother? How would you care for yourself if you were your own child? Are you taking care of your emotional self? Are you taking care of yourself when you fall and have boo-boos? like when you have a heartache or whatever, are you really nurturing yourself correctly or how you would want your mother to nurture you, okay? Treat yourself as if um, you, as if you would treat your little child if they were hurt or if they needed assistance or whatever. Are you mothering yourself is what, is what Spirit is asking you. And if you aren't, what are you going to do to take the proper steps to take better care of yourself. And then we have protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords, soul retrieval. So when we are praying, channeling, calling upon certain things, uh, awakening the masses, and, um, and to if you are another YouTube reader out there who does readings or, or um, gives out those spiritual messages and those talks that ad, from advice you know like therapy and stuff like that are you doing all the necessary things to protect your space protect your energy protect your mind um like if you're into crystals are you using everything that you need to clear it are you clearing your crystals are you clearing the space that you work in day to day the same way you do that, you have to do that to yourself as well. So you have to protect yourself just like you protect your space. Okay, you need to block out the negative energies. you got to cl clear it out. I always use sage and palo santo. Okay, palo santo is a huge. Okay, both of them. I always have incense. I have like two full drawers full of incense. Candles. I burn incense every single day. That's like my morning ritual. When As I'm brewing my coffee, I... I I light my incense and as I'm lighting my incense I say my morning prayers and stuff protection and all that stuff it's very important for me to do that so it's became something that's stuck to me and I can't live without and now I see you know my daughter's taking on that as well so like she'll be like oh I'm gonna light an incense right now or I'm gonna go sage my room or something <laughs> like she, you you're, you carry your kids carry that you know they look up to you so if they see that it's working for you it's going to be embedded in their mind and and pick those up from you and also know how to protect themselves as well when when you're not around and stuff like that okay so I'm going to read this one right here this has something to do with this side right here yep I believe these are the transmission transitions transmission cards okay 
I think it's Mintakins. I don't know what that means. I might have to Google it. I've never heard of that word before. <laughs> it says, are a, Mintakins are a soul group who originated on a planet in the, constel, in the constellation Orion. Orion. They were the first star beings to travel to Earth and believed to be the original light workers. The Mintakins' home planet is thought to have been a water world with water so pure that you could see through it for miles. For this reason, Mintakins feel most at peace and at home when in or around crystal clear water. They are here to teach us to see the potential and everything in light and all beings. Many Mintakins have an odd longing for home and struggle with feeling like they don't belong. It is thought it is though that this is due to their home planet no longer being in existence. If you pull this card, it could mean that you are a Mintakin or are longing for a sense of belonging and root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel secure and safe. Protect your root chakra. Protect yourself to feel safe. That's confirmation. Perhaps you feel this longing to find home without knowing where it is. Perhaps you've been moving around a lot and you yearn for a place to earth to call your own. If so, you are being called to connect with Mother Earth and create it for yourself now. To choose where you feel most at home and create it, rather than waiting, waiting for the feeling of belonging to come to you. Okay, so if you've been feeling like Maybe even though you have a home, maybe it doesn't feel like home. Or maybe you feel like a, a, a home is like something that's way out of reach. It's because supposedly the planet or wherever that you're from is no longer existent or whatever. But it's telling you to recreate that. You have that energy and you are one of the original light workers and you can recreate it yourself so if you do that and you tap into your your power and you become that star mother for others to come to to feel safe and home and nurtured then guess what many others will follow in your footstep too you will help them find that home recreate that home okay so i'm gonna pull the mermaid's oracle. Oh, I have a little ant on me. Okay, I'm gonna be worried now. I feel like I need to <laughs> clean my desk. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't touch my coffee. I hope I don't have no ants here. I don't wanna hear anybody say, you murdered an ant, you ant murderer. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. Don't nobody got time for ants. Especially right now in the freaking heat. <laughs> They're looking for sugar or food. Do not eat me, please, ant. I'm not too yummy. No. <laughs> Give me an order for Leo, please. For Leo. Okay. You have visions. And you have Coral's Wisdom. Okay. Visions. Psychic images. Clairvoyance. Seeing. Out of, out of body travel. So if you're the type of person who's always getting images. Deja vus. Psychic images. Okay. Seeing out of body travel. If you have those special gifts. Use it to your full extent. Use it for your advantage. Don't be afraid of these special gifts that you were born with and you don't maybe you don't know how to use them or when you have these certain gifts and you don't know what they mean like if you see things in your dreams and stuff like that certain visions and stuff like that start writing them down you you never know what you can come up with or what you can find these are spirit guides talking to you this is universe giving you little pieces of the puzzle of maybe past lives or or you know anything like that let me see what the div the divinatory meaning of this is. 37. Oh, I nailed it. <laughs> All right. Um, divination. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it too because it's such a pretty card. When you, uh, when you connect to the moon, you will feel more whole, connected, and attuned to the cycles of the world. 
and the fears you may have had around certain issues will fade. You will allow yourself to see with your psychic vision and you will speak of what you see and it will not be considered to be freakish or unusual or mere, or mere fantasy. It will be trusted and allowed and explored by you and by others who are close to. These flashes will not come when you are asleep, so they are not dreams. Oh, okay, well, and they can come even when your physical eyes are open. It is a matter of adjusting to having more than one kind of vision, opening your third eye, and accepting that this is an energetic truth. You will begin to understand and easily interpret these movies being made for you by the divine in alliance with your spirit eye. Uh-huh. Definitely. So maybe you need to see more clearly. Maybe you're the type of person who likes to walk around with blindfolds and don't want to see the truth or do not see the truth that's being brought to you by signs or visions and stuff like that. So maybe it's time for you to start working on opening your third eye. Okay. And then you have Coral's Wisdom. Colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. See that? What number is that? 31. So let's see what the definition meaning is to this. Okay, this is a pretty long one. So, ow. My ring got stuck in my hair. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see if you can see that. It says, Coral as a magical talisman to enhance beauty and to ensure protection has long been used. Tune into the coral and see which color comes to you to know what messages these precious tiny creatures are communicating to you. Each coral family has particular qualities and each region has an energetic signature that is unique. To tune into your coral, read the list below and then simply hold your coral in your receiving hand. If it's red coral, prevents bleeding. It's wonderful for menstrual cycle and for m women who are going into their crone years, menopausal. <laughs> red coral also heals wounds and makes people strong. So that's good. Blue uh, coral can prevent illness and disease developing. Restores balance to the body, body, soul, and emotions, and spirit. So this could also mean like um, if you have crystals and stuff, like the colors as well. Maybe ones that you can carry around. Golden coral. This beautiful rare, rare coral brings abundance and great, great, great good fortune. Black coral banishes negative energies from your body your bones in particular black coral can assist in banishing diseases and aiding in people with osteoporosis angel skin coral this beautiful soft pink coral can be worked with to prevent and to ease skin conditions such as cirrhosis cirrhosis eczema and sensitive skin and eyes it also helps with sinus issues acne and increases and stabilizes liver function i need to get me some of that angel skin stuff <laughs> white coral pure rebirth a time for transformation allowing yourself to change and develop once again love that is unconditional and kind white coral can also be used to program and store energies fancy so coral wisdom, it could also mean that you have wisdom. If you're the type of person who sells crystals and stuff like that, and you have wisdom using crystals, healing crystals and all that stuff, there you go. Maybe you need to really look into healing crystals and everything like that so that you can keep them with you. They may, might be able to help you out. That way you can pass on those energies as well. Okay. All right, Leo, this was your advice for June. Um, and I hope it helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought, and I will see you guys for your dailies.